Hey y'all, it is Kim. We were looking at RVs on the lot and I absolutely was so impressed with this Keystone Sprinter 3531 FW Den. Now, by the time I came outside to do these images, somebody was actually interested in buying this RV, so I didn't want to take up too much time, so I just kind of sped through. But you can get an idea of what it looks like outside. It is 39 feet long. It is a fifth wheel, four slides, has lots of storage, um, rated from zero degrees to 100 degrees uh, by the manufacturer as far as what you can camp in. And it is a really great RV, as you can see. And I'm about to show you what it looks like inside because that's where the magic happens. All right, guys, look at this kitchen right when you walk in. How awesome is this high top bench with this table? Let me see, is there storage under there? I don't think there's storage under there, but look at that. That is something that's really not that common in RVs with the bar stool seating. Love that. Also have some nice lighting. The interiors on this one is really nice. But I just had to show you this first and foremost because that seating is different. And then you have this beautiful kitchen. I love the finishes on this. Sink is over here, it's solid um, countertops. And it's a nice farmhouse look. Love that. Cabinets to the ceiling. Look at that, all this storage. Well, no storage really there. But you got some drawers. And then let's check this out. Yeah. And up here, empty storage. All right, so turning around, then you have the oven and three burner cooktop. I don't want to break that by doing that one handed. Microwave, I love the backsplash and all the storage. Let's check that out. That's nice and deep for pots and pans. Look at this refrigerator. I love how it has the freezer with the pull out drawers. It's not huge, but I do like the fact that there's designated two drawers in that. And then let's check out the inside of the fridge. Yeah, that's that's a lot of good space right there. Alrighty. Then we have a pantry right next to it. Look at that. That is a huge pantry. Wow, that's massive. But look at this living room. Let me close the pantry door, give you a look at the kitchen, and then we'll spin around and check out this living room. It is huge, so much space in here. I love these seats with the cup holders. They are recliners oh, with an amazing view of that TV right there, fireplace. Look at all of that storage, super bright with all the windows. Look at that couch, I'm sure this pulls out. can't do it myself, but yeah. Then another one over here, again, windows, oh, fan up above. Check out some of this storage in here. Whoop. Yeah, that's really nice, really nice. I love the little hutch look. It's very residential feeling. Okay, so we will turn around and then I'll take you back into the bathroom area and the bedroom area. Again, huge windows. Okay, stepping up into the hallway with the window. And we'll open up the bathroom area. This is actually quite big and light and spacious. Got toilet at an angle, sink, medicine cabinet. Let's check that out. Let's check out, see how much room is underneath the sink. That's quite a amount, quite a decent amount of room. I've seen a lot smaller than that. Love that the shower has a seat in it. How awesome. And then check out this. Ugh. Whoa. Wow. Look at how deep that storage is. Oh my God. That would be perfect. 
perfect for towels. Wow, that is a lot of storage. Oops, in the bathroom. It's also very noisy storage. Okay, we'll come back out into the hallway and then check out the bedroom. All right, so it's kind of dark in here right now. We've got the bed. Let me see, there's not any bedside table to speak of, nor is there any USB port. There is an outlet down there, but there are no bedside tables. Nice little wood feature above the bed though. It is kind of a padded headboard. Windows on each side. Again, looking for a USB port, not seeing anything, not seeing electrical either, but they do have a really big closet with kind of like a farmhouse sliding door shelf above. That's quite big y'all. Yeah, that is quite a lot of storage. And then over here, you do have even more storage. It's actually pretty impressive. And look at this. It is plumbed for washer and dryer, if you like. The cabinetry in here is really loud, right? <laughs> okay, and then you have dresser over here. I always like having a um, solid surfaces that you can put things on, so love that. More storage above. Let's check this out okay, and I guess I don't know if you wanted to put a TV in here I guess it would have to be on that wall I don't think you can well wait a minute television mount bracket right here right here that would be odd put it right there right by the dresser or doors that you want to open it would have to be on an extendable bracket that's just a very odd position let me go ahead and open up these drawers that would be a really small TV and then you'd have to have it just flush to the wall and then you'd have to have an extendable thing to bring it out. That's just odd. All right, so coming back out, we'll walk back down. Nice farmhouse look though. Really nice. 